In the lecturette, your voice becomes your salute. Crisp, confident, and full of character. Gentlemen, we are all living in the era of digitalization and the data acts as a thriving force for the things to progress. And certain data has been leaked or jammed by the illegal persons and this has been misused and this is called as the cyber threat. So hello everyone, this is Hari Aran Vithura. I am going to deliver a lecture on the topic of cyber security. The cyber crime is a growing issue because of the global countries or the global uh, population were completely reliable towards the electronic devices like smartphones, TVs, as well as the internet of things. And uh, everything is connected by a series of network of connectivity and the data has been uh, transferred from one source to another source. So in between these data has been jammed and it, is, it had been sold in the dark web. The persons who are committing the cyber crimes were having the knowledge of hacking and they will use the data at the certain po at certain point of time and they will ask the ransoms and or they will collect a lump sum amount of money so the ultimate aim is to store the data or jam the entire system to progress the best example is in uh, is the aim attack that had been held in 2023 which stopped or hindrance the progress for one week and all these data of the patients were completely stolen Apart from that, various Indians who were seeking jobs in the, in the uh, abroad countries, they were migrating to the Southeast Asian nations and they will, uh, they will be trapped by those nationals to commit the crimes and to commit the cyber attacks. So I would like to uh, give you a brief knowledge about the various types of the cyber attacks that is cyber stacking, phishing, botnets, uh, uh, we have the distributed denial of service, jamming, etc. So here uh, the people will send spam messages or the intermediate player will hack the, uh, hack the network and he will collect the data. So uh, the online harassment is also one of the growing issue through the social media they will use the uh, with the help of the artificial intelligence they will change the voice modulation they will uh, use the fake credentials and everything and they will store the data. And apart from that um, the login IDs the credentials of the ATM cards and other uh, uh, confidential card related details were completely stolen because of the uh, lack of knowledge by the uh, people. So these are some of the attacks uh, when, it, when we look into the cyber crime. So I would like to conclude the control measures uh, should have to be taken. Strict cyber awareness, cyber security awareness should have to be provided for the people in the rural as well as urban areas. And as an individual, we should have to make a strict or strong confidential passwords for our uh, uh, credit card, debit cards, as well as the uh, savings bank account cards, etc. So this is this is these are the following measures that I would like to conclude. Apart from that, with the help of the Internet of Things, with the help of the artificial intelligence, as well as the strict control measures by the government, with the help of uh, the numerous IT sectors we can reduce or mitigate the cyber attacks. So this can be completely uh, pro completely prohibit and we can also use the ethical hackers to counter the uh, hackers who are doing the illegal activities like cyber crime. Thank you, Jayant.